Hi, this is Julia Waldorf, juliawaldorf.com. Thanks for watching How to Buy a Home. Okay, well you went out, looked at houses, and you love one. Great. So, what do you do? What's the next step? The agent that you're working with will um, determine um, for you if there's other contracts coming in. So they'll call up and say, hey, are there any other contracts coming in? And there may be. If there's multiple offers, that'll determine what you can offer on the property. You might even offer more because the market is bubbling out there right now. Um, so, or how long has it been on the market? And what's the history? Has it been on the market for a period of time, but it's been under contract and it fell out? That's a possibility. Can they find out why it fell out? What was the reasoning? A lot of times it's because of loans these days. It has nothing to do with the property. But it could be the property, and then you have to find out why. What's the deal? Maybe they could negotiate a termite inspection out, and they said, no, no way. <laughs> it could be. Um, things like that happen. Um, so, so your agent will take care of you. And they'll type up the contract for you. It will be conditioned upon inspection. It will be conditioned upon getting the loan and the funding. Um, you'll provide earnest money. It can range from as low as 500 to, gosh, 100,000. The highest one I've ever had was $100,000 earnest money, and that was on a $2 million commercial deal. Lowest one, of course, was a dollar, and that was on a commercial deal too. So it can be as low or as high as as possible. If you really like the house, I recommend that you make it higher than lower. Um, if you're competing against other property, yes, make it definitely higher. Other contracts, I mean, make it definitely higher than lower. Because um, even though it is uh, refundable to you if the inspection doesn't go through or if you can't get your loan, um, it is a thing saying, hey, I, I'm, I'm real about the deal and here's the money. <laughs> so. Um, so there you go. You want to make sure that your inspection clause is in there, your loan clause is in there, the closing date is, works for you, and um, the price, if the price is the one that you, you indicated that you would like to have. Your agent will go through the whole contract with you. Um, if you haven't bought a home in the last year, I highly recommend because they change those contracts yearly, it seems like. And then the disclosures will follow. The agent will make sure that you have all your disclosures necessary to close on the property. But first, get the contract in. Don't worry about the disclosures. First, get that contract in and, and get it done. Um, and then you can go through all the disclosures. And disclosures range from radon to mold to seller's property disclosure on every little nick and cranny in the house to um, lead-based paint. Disclosures, there's, there's several of them. Um, there's a lot of paperwork when you start writing a contract, but don't get intimidated. It is, the bottom line is you're buying brick and mortar. What you see is what you get, and what you dig into you better find. Um, and that's why you do want the inspections. And you'll be paying out money if you do get it under contract. Paying out money for inspections, but it's worth it. Even if it's $1,000 worth of inspections, you're spending a lot of money. A lot of money. Don't be, don't be cheap when it comes to getting those inspections. Main thing is the house inspection. They only range from three to four hundred dollars, but you can add on to it with radon, and you know if there is mold, then add on to that with the mold inspections and and or um, um, lead-based paint. Eh, lead-based paint. Most homes <laughs> built before 1978 have lead-based paint, and that's normal. Just don't eat the lead-based paint, right? <laughs> so anyway. Um, that's what the, the contract is. It's, it's paperwork. It's just brick and mortar. Don't let the paperwork intimidate you. Your agent will take care of you and, and go through it thoroughly. Ask all the questions you need. That's what the agent's there to help you with. And, um, and hopefully all goes well and you'll get the house under contract. And that would be, that's great. And if you don't, it's okay. It's not meant to be. Another house will come up, and that's another thing I found in my history, is that if that house didn't come to fruition for my buyers, that means something better comes up, and it always does. It takes a little while, but it does come up. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Julia Waldorf, juliawaldorf.com. Ciao, ciao.